is black and white and white and pink with blades of blue that lay between the words I think on a pitch I was meaning to send to you I couldn't tell if to bring my heart the way I wanted when I started writing this letter to you But if I could you know I would just hold your hand and you'd understand I'm the man who loves you son Jake here was presenting. Come on guys, if I hear any more noise, it's going to be a detention. A detention, okay? I don't care that it's that tomorrow's Friday, that tomorrow's Valentine's Day, it's just the noise has to stop, okay? You're being extremely rude. Another way to single people out. Thirty for Jared. Oh, thanks. Uh, where are they from? Hmm. Let's find out. Ashley, Brittany, Candy. I don't know anyone named Candy. I think she was just naming what she was sending. Wow. Well, uh, good luck with that. Okay, well, good luck with Sleeping Beauty up there. Come on, dude. Why don't you go to my house after school? All right, fine. What about Amanda Keller? Isn't she a psychopath? Well, uh, she's vegan. Crazy enough for me. Hey, uh, what about Michelle Snyder? Isn't she dating someone? Does that matter on Valentine's Day? <sighs> of course it does, Jared. Yes, your mother wants to go on a double date with the Fergusons tomorrow. For Valentine's Day. Ouch. Wait, why this early? You can never start too early when your fate involves dinner with the Fergusons. What are you even watching? High School Musical 3. Seriously, Dad? I can't even watch that. Hey, I was about to turn it off, too. It's nothing like the first two. Right. The other day, he kicked me in the ball. Something. Why? All I said was the Mets suck. What did he say? Nothing. He just got up and kicked me in the balls. Wait. Dan's at the weeb. 
Who do you have in mind? Who else? Um, Danielle Kelly. Who's she again? Right there. Oh, who? Oh yeah, she's so hot. What are you talking about? You don't even know her. Yeah, I do. She's in my gym class. Okay, okay, um... Her. Hmm. She's cute. Sweet. Let's check out a few more, though, just in case. Alrighty. Okay, got it. Her. Kim Fletcher. Nah. Seriously? No, not her. Why? She's at least an eight. It's the shape of her head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but who cares? It just bothers me. She's like one of the hottest girls in our school. And you're saying no just because of the shape of her head? She's a swimmer. She's got a nice body. And that's great and everything, but uh, I'd really only go for it to know if she got plastic surgery or something and replaced her entire skull. You know, he is right about swimmers, though. They are slamming, especially the boys. You know what? We gotta go somewhere more private. Jenna Mallory. Mm. Why do you even want a Valentine? What even is that? It's just the idea. I don't want it to be another Singles Awareness Day like it is every other year. Dude, don't say that. Girls say that. Dude, Valentine's Day is just another made-up holiday to make people feel better. Like St. Patrick's Day or Hanukkah. Those are both actual holidays. Whatever, but be my Valentine? Like, seriously, what does that even mean? Is it like just some free booty call? An all-day ticket? It's more like pay-per-view. Alright, but I choose on-demand any day. Well, I need a valentine, someone to bring to your party. Right. That's what we're doing here. I have a few ways of getting you a valentine, but I can't guarantee you Sarah Matthews. Oh, Sarah? She's slamming. I'm gonna get her to be my valentine, too. Shut up, Dan. I'm gonna punch you in the throat. Yeah, she's mine anyway. Apparently not yet. Don't even think about it, Dan. I don't have to. Girls know I got swag. Dan, you look like a rat and you're annoying as hell. You're pretty much swaggerless. You don't stand a chance. But you, definitely. <laughs> How many did you get? Zero, Jared. What? That's impossible, not even actually. Also, thank you for the recommendation to give peanut butter candies to Samantha. Why? She loves those. No, she doesn't. She's allergic. What? Yeah, she got sent home by the nurse. I think she was gonna say yes too, but her whole face was swollen. I couldn't understand a frickin' word she was saying. Ouch. Well, I do have one more surprise for you. What can that be? Your little girlfriend over there? She's gonna be at my party tonight. Really? Really. Okay, all right, I have an idea. Okay, your band's playing tonight. Yeah. Is there any kind of way I can give a speech during your performance? I don't know, it just kind of threw off the whole groove of the whole thing. Are you serious? Just say yes. <sighs> yeah, sure, whatever. 
Sweet. All right, but it'll have to be before the fireworks. Fireworks? How the hell are you getting fireworks? My friend Vlad, he's Russian. What does that have to do with anything? Russians have all the connections, dude. I don't know what it is about them, but they have all the connections. Fine, great. I'll tell her how I feel and then there'll be fireworks. Yes. See you tonight, Romeo. Alright, thanks guys, thanks a whole lot, you guys are being real great. Alright, now we're gonna take a short intermission. What? Dude, what intermission? I gotta do this for my friend. Uh, no dude, sorry. You don't have the privilege to do that. What are you talking about? Dude. I'm the guitar player. Dude, no, don't even give me that, dude. You're the rhythm guitarist. You guys know Andrew Cooper, right? Well, um, anyway, he has something to say. Um, um, four score and seven, wait, no, um, 15 years and a few moments ago, I fell in love with a girl that I met when I was in preschool. We haven't talked a lot since high school because of her popularity and her chronic narcolepsy, but that's beside the point. We were always meant to be. Uh, she was the most beautiful girl. She is the most beautiful girl. Like, with eyes like garnets, which is my birthstone. Either way, Sarah Matthews, wherever you are out there in that crowd, I have one question for you. Will you be my valentine? Oh, I'm sorry. Dan Henley already asked me. He's my valentine. Andrew, aren't you going to stay for the fireworks? No! Alright guys, this next one's an Eddie Murphy cover. Party all the time. Let's go, let's go, let's go.